Hello my dear kids. Today we are going to learn division without regrouping and then division with regrouping. So let's get started. Division without regrouping. Let's divide 48 by 2. First arrange the numbers in long division form like this. 48 divided by 2. Check if the digit in tens place is equal to or greater than the divisor. Then divide the tens digit first. Here 4 is greater than 2. So we divide 4 by 2 first. 4 divided by 2. We say the table of 2 till we reach 4. So 2 2's are 4. We write 2 at quotient's place and write 4 below the dividend and subtract. 0. We get 0. Bring down the 1's digit then divide the 1's digit by divisor. 8 divided by 2. 2 4's are 8. 4 we write at quotient's place and 8 we write below the dividend and subtract. We get 0. So here we get 24 as the quotient, 0 as the remainder. This is how we are doing division without regrouping. Let us solve this also 63 divided by 3. Let's arrange the numbers like this. And check if the digit in tens place is equal to or greater than the divisor. Here 6 is greater than 3. So we divide first 6 by 3. 6 divided by 3. We say the table of 3. Till you reach 6. 3, 2's are 6. 2 we write at quotient's place and 6 we write below the dividend and subtract. Then bring down the value in 1's place and divide. 3 divided by 3. When a number is divided by the same number, the answer is always 1. So 1 we write at quotient's place and 3 we write below the dividend and subtract. Here we got 21 as the quotient, 0 as the remainder. Division with regrouping. Let's divide 67 by 4. Arrange the numbers like this. And check if the first number is greater than or equal to the divisor. Here 6 is greater than 4. So we divide 6 by 4. 1 4 4. We write below the dividend and subtract. 6 minus 4 2. Then bring down the 1's value. Then divide 27 by 4. We regroup 2 tens and 7 ones into 27. 27 divided by 4. 4 6 are 24. 4 sevens are 28. So we take 6. Then subtract 7 minus 4 3. 2 minus 2 0. Here we get 16 as the quotient and 3 as the remainder. 